In this video, we'll be looking at the easiest way to look up a constituent in your databank, change their phone number, and then log that interaction. What I'm presupposing is that I had a conversation with one of my constituents, and now I'd like to update some of their personal information. The first thing that I need to do is look up the member. To do this, I'm going to use Easy Query. Under the search menu, you'll find listed all of your search options. Easy Query allows you to search by five different characteristics. It's not necessary for you to fill out all of this information, only to know a little bit of it. For instance, I know that my constituent's last name is Sample, but I can't quite remember how to spell it. I do know that it starts with S-A-M-P. Now if I click Find, this will return everybody in my databank whose last name starts with S-A-M-P. What I'm looking at right now are my search results. In one spot, I can see the address information for the person, as well as have the ability to jump into their record to change things. If I'd like to know a little bit more about this person than what I see on my screen, I can simply hover over their record. The person that I was looking for was Bobby Sample. So now what I'm going to do is enter his record by clicking the edit icon on the same line as his record. I've now entered an area where I can edit any of Bobby Sample's contact information. In this case, what I wanted to do was add a home phone number. All I need to do to do this is place my cursor into home phone, type the new phone number, and now I can save this information. Almost any time that I make a change to my databank, it will notify me of the change. Now that I've updated Bobby's phone number, I want to log the interaction that I had with him over the phone. To do this, I'll add a new contact note to his record. If you don't see the new contact dialog box open, all you need to do is click on Contacts in the constituent record. To log this interaction, all I need to do is set who the contact was by, what type of contact it was, how the contact was made, and add any additional notes that I might have. If I wanted to share this information with a coworker, I could click on the envelope icon to open this contact note in my email software. Clicking Submit creates this contact note. You can see now at the top of my contact history is the record of this contact.